Hummus is a meal in itself. You really don't need to do too much to it. My name's Helen. I'm one of the chef tutors at the Waitrose and Partners Cookery School. Today I'm going to show you how to make hummus with cumin. It requires very few simple ingredients, so it's so easy to make at home. If you'd like the full recipe, the link is in the description. First things first, we're going to get our chickpeas. I'm using a can of chickpeas today, which I've already drained. I'm just going to reserve a few to use as a garnish on the top, so I'm not going to add them all in straight away. And then next thing that's going to go in is some garlic. So when you're having garlic uh, raw like this, it's really important to make sure it's well broken down. You don't want any big chunky pieces. You just want to make sure you've got a very smooth puree. Next thing that's going to go in is going to be some lemon juice. So we want to give these lemons a good kind of roll around first just to make sure that we can get maximum juice out of them. And I'm going to squeeze it through my hand just to catch any pips as we go. Lemon and garlic are really the stars of the show in a hummus. Next thing we're going to add in is going to be our tahini. So this is literally just sesame seeds which have been uh, blended to a really smooth puree. I'm going for 50 grams, which is two generous tablespoons. You can kind of eyeball it. It's got a really, really smooth texture. Gives loads and loads of creaminess. Next up is going to be the cumin. So this is a really, really sweet and earthy spice. It does still have that bitterness to it, but it plays very nicely with the lemon. So if you didn't have cumin, you could use a bit of coriander instead, uh, or you could add in something spicy, like maybe a paprika or chili powder or a bit of cayenne. I'm just gonna pop the lid on, and we're gonna start drizzling in some olive oil as we blend. We wanna use about 100 mils, but again, you can do that by eye. I can see that I've already got a kind of coarse texture in my hummus. So we need to add a little bit of salt. I'm gonna go for a generous kind of pinch of flaky sea salt, a bit more for luck. And then blend that in and just have a little taste. Let's see what we're working with. It's so good. The cumin and the lemon and the garlic really stands out already. I've just got some really nice crudités and some pita bread to serve with. And I'm going to take it and dollop it right into the middle of a nice plate. And then just grab a spoon and swirl it and kind of swoosh it around until you get some nice texture and a little bit of height in there. We'll take those leftover chickpeas that we saved from earlier and just kind of scatter those all around and then the final flourish is really just a drizzle of olive oil which will really capture the light and make it look very very beautiful. One of my favourite things to have with hummus is dukkah. So this is another Middle Eastern ingredient. You've got kind of uh, sunflower seeds and um, dried chickpeas in here and lots of spices and it gives a really great crunch and I like to sprinkle that on top. But another lovely ingredient that you could use is za'atar which is mostly sesame seeds, sumac, and some thyme. And you can sprinkle this on a separate dish. When you dip one of your vegetables or your bits of bread in the hummus, you can then dip it in the za'atar for an extra punchy little seasoning afterwards. So there you go, that's a really easy way to make a really delicious hummus. And you can serve it in lots of different ways, especially for a nice, quick, easy lunch or a nice snack in the evening. You can have a little plate like this, or you could spread some on a wrap 